When I was younger, like from five up to 12, 13, soccer was the thing. Like we played it all the time. Uh, as soon as we uh, had a break in, in our class, we went and played soccer. Um, I had a team in Gothenburg, um, IFK Gothenburg. Uh, it's like the city pro team in the top league in Sweden. And just, it was soccer all the time, like Europe, uh, La Liga, Premier League. Let's see a good shot here. That's good. It was soccer all the way until kind of the, the snow came and, and it switched over to hockey. Hockey, I, I wanted to stop the puck and soccer, I wanted to score. So <laughs> my dad didn't let me to play goalie in soccer. So <laughs> kind of ended up being goalie in hockey instead. When I was young, we just went to the rink and, and everyone kind of had to try it out. And I just liked it the first time I did it and then I was stuck. You have to react more when you're on defense. You have to kind of react more to what others uh, are doing instead of just like being creative. That's probably the biggest uh, difference, creativity versus reaction. It's obviously fun to be a part of the offense and kind of get that uh, mentality. It's really fun. Like I, I love when to win in general. So it's good to see both sides of it and, and kind of enjoy both parts of it because it's a different mental game kind of so it's probably good for me. I would say soccer in Sweden it's more like football here. Everyone comes together you can really see that if there's a big tournament or if the, the world championship if Sweden are in it uh, the whole country just stops when they play a game and that's that's probably one of my favorite things about soccer how everyone like comes together and uh, same thing with, with hockey or any sport and for in any country, but especially Sweden, if there's some someone or a team that are doing pretty well, everyone uh, comes together and kind of enjoys their success and supports them, which is pretty cool with sports in general. It's really difficult to explain to people that haven't been over here or aren't in the hockey to understand how big this is, how much of a support we have, uh, resources, and the chances of, of hopefully playing pro one day. It's funny, some people are still like asking, oh, are you still playing hockey? Like, is it still fun? Like, yeah, it's my life. It's not just a thing I do on the side. It's like, I'm doing school obviously and I wanna have an education. That's why I'm here too. But it's more of my life now. Uh, and that's probably the hardest thing to kinda get people to understand. Person is there to shut the door. Ludwig Person, absolutely exceptional. He just made things look easy. It's been a good start when everyone's showing up and doing the work and we do it together and not just walking around and, and being in our own world. Uh, we support each other and that's uh, pretty cool. It's a privilege to be here. Uh, just walking around here in the facilities is awesome. and. Oh, everything we have here with coaching and the expertise that's here, the quality of everything from food to recovery room, gym, ice, equipment, everything is just elite. So just got to be present, take, take advantage of uh, my opportunity here and, and see, see what can happen.